Does your makeup wear off too quickly? Want to know secrets of the pros to keeping your makeup on all day? Hi friend, welcome to my channel. I'm Gloriel, I'm a skincare and makeup coach and I help millennial working women find their glow um, so that they can go after that promotion. See you. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you five tips to helping your makeup last longer. Like this video, hit the thumbs up uh, and like, and hit subscribe and the bell. You know the deal. So you don't miss the next video coming up in my channel. So a lot of people think that you need to cake up your makeup, add more powder, wear lots of layers, and to have a makeup that lasts all day, but that's not true. You don't wanna look cakey. There's no need for all those layers. You look beautiful as is, but I will give you some tips and tricks to look amazing and show off your makeup in this video. Tip number one, you want to establish a basic routine that keeps your skin healthy. So you want to cleanse, exfoliate, tone, and refresh your skin with a four-in-one cleanser, um, like this one. And then you want to moisturize your face because it's important. And then you want an eye cream. This is important, girls, because all those wrinkles add up and you want to have a good eye cream. And then if we're going, if we're going to do our makeup for the day, then we want something with an SPF 30 to protect your skin, to hydrate while you protect your skin. Like that is super important. So you want to have an easy, simple, skincare routine you want to have primers you want a lash primer which is going to make your lashes fan out and look so beautiful you want to have an eyelid primer which is going to keep your eye your eyeshadows looking intact to look more pigmented and it's going to last you all day so this face is a 12-hour face and i only use this and whatever eyeshadows i put on and then you want to have a face primer so all of these what are going to do is help your uh, makeup stay on longer and smudge proof because we be without a face when we come back home like we still want to be able to either go out to dinner or go for some drinks. So you want to have your makeup lasting longer. And so for me, Florida weather is weird, right? Because we're in that time period right now where it's fall for the rest of the world, <laughs> but for us here is still warm. So it's cooled down, but there's still some warmth to the day. So you want to be able to have your makeup set and last it and, and make it last all day. So you can experiment with all of these. Um, you can switch up the, the eye primer for a concealer if you choose to make it more glam, but this is just enough to make your, your eyeshadows you look beautiful without having too much stuff on, if that makes sense. I know some, some of my customers and friends don't like to use too much makeup. So the less that they have, the better. So, and, and that's something that is key, right? So the next thing that we have is the setting powder. So you can either use a translucent, a translucent setting powder, which is more on the white side. This actually picks up the color of your skin. So don't worry, it'll melt down and it'll, it, it won't look as bright as this. And then you have the silky setting powder, which is more on the colored side. If you see it, it's more colored and it's the same consistency. It does the same thing, but if you weren't to put on too much makeup, then you can always set your powder with color or without it just it just it's out of preference right so what this what this powder does is actually set your makeup 
in place, it prevents creasing. So if we're gonna use it on our under eye, it won't crease all day and it won't wipe off the rest of your makeup all day. So you wanna do this on top of your foundation. Um, so you have it, so you, so you set your foundation with some powder and it actually like looks even. Be number four is using waterproof mascara. So waterproof mascara, um, I don't like to use it for an everyday look just because you need, uh, you can always use waterproof mascara. I'm not a fan for it for everyday looks and because they can damage your, your lashes if you don't take it out correctly. But other than that, if you are looking for a makeup look that's gonna last you all day, won't budge, it's waterproof, waterproof mascara is the way to go. So if you're gonna be out and about, you're gonna be sweating, you're gonna be, you don't wanna crease, you don't wanna smudge, waterproof mascara. So waterproof mascara, um, this ensures that actually if you're going to be sweating um, and if you produce a lot of oil, then this is going to stay on, it won't budge. But just remember that once you take it off, you wanna take it off with an oil-free makeup remover. And so this is going to be your best friend for your waterproof mascara. Then lastly, we have finishing spray. So finishing spray is going to be um, the perfect spritz at the end of your makeup routine. So what this is going to do, it's going to seal it off. It's going to help you by avoid smudging and creasing. So hours can pass and your makeup is still intact. It's not gonna cake your face. It's not going to, it's, it's going to avoid smudging and moving of your makeup. So it's going to stay put. But this is going to be the last step on your routine so once you are ready for lipstick that's when you're going to spritz this little baby on and you will be set for the day so i have a question for you which of these tips are you going to try first um thank you for joining me and if you stuck around till the end i hope that you learned something new and you can apply it to your makeup and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, hitting that bell so you can get notified whenever I drop my video. 